Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Christy. Today, I have a keto related video for you guys. But first, if you're not subscribed, go ahead and do so. I do Dollar Tree hauls and keto videos. My entire family is currently following a ketogenic lifestyle and we have lost over 150 pounds. Also, make sure you follow me over on Instagram. I do sneak peeks and family photos there. Today's video was inspired by Jess. She is over on the YouTube channel Journey to Healthy, and last week she did a What's in My Fridge video. So today I'm taking you along to peek inside my three keto refrigerators. So this is our indoor fridge. It is a side-by-side -side up top, and then the freezer's on the bottom. Not gonna lie, not a huge fan of that. Okay, let's look and see what's inside my keto fridge. I do have organization videos. I keep my refrigerator pretty well organized and it's all thanks to Dollar Tree. I'll have that video linked below for you guys if you're interested. So this is what it looks like. I try to keep it not extremely full, um, just mainly because the whole principle out of sight, out of mind. So we don't want to binge eat. I just keep in here what we need. Okay, I'm going to start with my top shelf. Of course, I have my butter and we keep it well stocked. We have the Chef Chamois. I picked this up at Sam's. This time I got the garlic and butter and the French onion. The garlic butter is absolutely the best. I don't know if I would get the French onion again, but definitely we'll be getting the garlic butter next time we go if they still have it. Up here I have a Lazy Susan and that's just so everything turns really simple. We have the sour cream, my ricotta, Mars Capone cheese. Well, this is getting stuck. We have everybody's favorite keto marinara sauce. Um, I just found this on sale at Ingles for $5.98, so I bought a couple. And then just some unsweetened coconut milk in case I'm going to make ice cream at some point and I want to use that. And then over here, top shelf, is my meats. So in the very back, I keep trays of meats. The top one right here is just trays of chicken tenders and then the bottom one is my pork chops, the thin cut pork chops, and I'll make those in the air fryer and we'll use those to make chaffle sandwiches. Then I have two things of bacon that I found on sale at Ingles this week. And let me show you guys what all's in here. In this basket is the Aldi's pork sausage. No sugar used in that or in the ingredients, so it's no carbs. We have some pepperoni. I also have the mini pepperonis for making my pizza bites for the kids. I have some uncured hot dogs. There was no sugar listed in the ingredients in this one. They are organic and no nitrates or nitrites. And then I have some deli meats and this is for the girls lunches. Second shelf is all cheese. So in the very back, you're gonna see my shredded cheeses and I like to shred those up when I do my meal prep so that I'll have everything ready. So we have a cheddar cheese and a mozzarella. This little container right here is all of my cream cheese and you know, we like our cream cheese in this house. This is my cheese basket. So I have some sliced cheeses. These are all Aldi. This is the Colby Jack, also the provolone. I do have some extra blocks of stick, two Colby Jacks and a mozzarella in case I need it. Chris likes goat cheese, so we get that. We either pick it up at Trader Joe's or where else does he get it? I think he gets it at Aldi. And then I have one thing of shredded Parmesan cheese. Third shelf right here is usually like snacks or really quick go-to things. Um, I recently picked this up at Aldi. This is the tzatziki and it was pretty low carb. Kerrigan loves this stuff and when I make my crackers, she can just dip them in that or use them with cucumbers. So I picked that up for her. She's not had it in forever. These are Dollar Tree containers. They're two-sided and I have two of these. I have more I just don't have them in here right now. And what I do is when I melt down my keto bricks into small little pucks like this, I store them in the refrigerator in these containers. They're right here so we can see them. I have several. Let's see, this one over here is the coconut cream. This one right here is the mocha. And then this one is full of the new chocolate peanut butter one, which is my favorite. But when I open the refrigerator, if I want something, I want to see these up front and center because I want to reach for these first. Each little puck that I have melted down is 125 calories and 11 grams of fat and less than one carb, way less than one carb. So this way I'm going to get my fats in. 
And the very bottom shelf right here is where I keep my eggs. And this week I found this. This is the Boar's Head Sauerkraut. It was in the refrigerated section. And I think I'm going to make some kraut and weenies. I'm not sure, guys. Is that a southern thing or does everybody make kraut and weenies? But the carb count wasn't bad and I thought I would give that a shot. This big section is for all of our taller items and meal prep stuff. So here we have a lasagna. This was leftovers from Sunday. So we had a pork tenderloin and some green beans. And then this is egg loaf for Preston to take in his lunch throughout the week or the girls to eat for breakfast. I keep these products, your dairy products, your milk type products in the very back because it's the coldest part of your refrigerator. Over here in this container, also Dollar Tree, is all of my salad dressing. So I have a ranch from Aldi. I also have one of these Walden Farms. You guys let me know. I was not a huge fan of these. Then I have this one. This is the Primal Kitchen Caesar with avocado oil. It was really good. And another Aldi one was the balsamic vinaigrette. We have really not used it since we very, at the very, very beginning of keto. I have two almond milks in here. Gosh, are they both full? Yeah, they're both brand new. Um, I use this in ice cream and also for Riley's protein shakes in the morning or if she eats cereal, I think. Yeah, I have a vanilla and an original, both from Aldi. Have two heavy whipping creams left. These are just from Walmart. Also, I add a little bit of this to her protein shakes in the morning and ice cream, and Chris adds it to his coffee. This was something new. The whole family does not eat this, but I did pick it up for Briley, and this was the Great Value Sugar-Free Whipped Heavy Cream. I know, I could make my own, but she is a child and she misses having that can of whipped cream. So when I saw this, I went ahead and picked it up and she has been so excited. Okay, let's go to the veggie drawer. We have all of your keto friendly staples. Chris has some jalapenos, I have some zucchini. Here I have cut up and ready some small cucumbers and another bag of cucumbers in the very back. Right here is some cut up celery and I have one green pepper. Not gonna lie, our fruit drawer is pretty sparse, way sparser than normal. I know, I know, apples are not the best keto fruit, but again, Briley is low carb slash keto and her doctor wants her to get about 50 carbs a day around that to control her hypoglycemia. So she does get apples occasionally and what she does with those is just dip them in some keto approved peanut butter. And these are just some no sugar added fruit cups and we've actually had those now for a while. I'm not sure when they expire, but it's probably getting to be soon. The very bottom drawer has always been a snack drawer and a go-to drawer for the kids. So when they need something for their lunch, they need something sweet or a couple of treats to put in there, they just go pick something out here. So over here we have Nui cookies. This one is the snickerdoodle. This one is the chocolate chip. I also have some of the Nush Cakes, quite a few of those left in here. Two good yogurts. These are Briley's for her lunch box when she takes breakfast for lunch. A entire container of cheese sticks just because Preston and Briley love them so much. Over here in the house, we only have one Smart Cake because I'm not going to have them all in the house. I swear, I'm a binge eater, so I would probably just eat them all. And then in this last little container, are these not just absolutely gorgeous? Dollar Tree's the bomb. Um, I have our Lolly's uh, granola. Well, they changed the name. It's now Lolly's Cookie Clusters. I'll always forever call it Lolly's Low Carb Granola. Absolutely love this stuff. This is the new flavor they have in right now, the pumpkin spice. It is delicious. I do have a discount code below if you guys want to order. We also have in the gingerbread cookie just a few little bit pieces of it. And just a few little chunks of the cinnamon pecan crunch and I'm all out of the peanut macadamia. Oh, it's it's so good. And then in the very back, these are Kerrigan's, the Revol Snacks. I don't have a discount code for those, but she loves these and they have them in a ton of different flavors. She has them all, so make sure you check them out. They're an amazing company too, keto friendly. And in the very back, I had the keto bricks that I've melted down already. Those are the mocha. And when I'm out of, these are empty, I'll just go ahead and refill those up. And that's it in there. 
Okay, now let's talk condiment door. That's what I call this. Anyways, I have some salsa. This one has no sugar added. It's Aldi. I do keep some of these sprinkled Parmesan cheese. I know it's not the best, but we do dirty keto occasionally, people. And then this is from Walmart. This is the Wickles. <laughs> I can never say that with a straight face spicy red sandwich spread this has no sugar added either it is delicious it isn't hot but it's so good you guys need to check it out and i do have one of the primal kitchen mayos with the avocado oil i've tried people i have tried i just cannot get on board with the primal kitchen mayo down here i have some olives some more olives some garlic pickles uh, Preston and Chris and Briley's favorite pickles from Aldi. These are the Atomic Spicy Pickles. We also have some banana peppers. I don't know. This one's not even been open and we've had it for a while. And then some hot sauces. There's this one and what is this one? The Sweet Baby Ray's. I'm not even sure. I'm not even looked. But no, there is no sugar in that. So Chris knew what he was doing. I don't eat hot sauce. Down here is strictly like your classic condiments. You've got your brown deli mustard, a Duke's mayo. That's what I use all the time is Duke's because there's no sugar added on it, but it's not the cleanest of ingredients. It's got like soy or canola or one of those horrible oils in it. That's an inflammatory. I have the G Hughes sugar free ketchup, the Primal Kitchen Golden Barbecue Sauce. This is my favorite barbecue sauce. It is so good. It's like a mustard barbecue sauce. And then this is the kids' favorite. This is the G Hughes Sugar Free Barbecue Original. Again, that just comes from Walmart. And then just plain old regular yellow mustard and more hot sauce that Chris has picked up. Very bottom is an extra atomic pickle, so out of sight, out of mind. They can eat that one right there first. And then I have some Trader Joe's Dijon mustard. And then these are from Aldi. These are your pesto sauces. So I have the red one and also the green. I don't use these that often, just when I make something. Um, like a fathead pizza dough. Occasionally, I'll put a little bit of this on there as the spread. Okay, the other door, which is just like, you know, a half door because the ice maker is right here. Quincy's dog food. Not sure if that's keto friendly. And then my skincare. So this is just like a nothing shelf. Um, down here are some vinegars, the white vinegar, the apple cider vinegar, also some lemon juice, some garlic cloves, and my flax seed. So this is like the cooking shelf. And then down here, I call this the breakfast one. These are my sugar-free jellies and jams that I pick up at the natural food market I have here in town. This one is the strawberry. This is the apricot. And then they also have it in a blueberry, which I've not tried yet. This is our absolute favorite, the tastiest, absolute, hands down, number one, maple syrup. Um, this one is sweetened with monk fruit. It's got like one net carb. It's the Lakanto sugar-free keto right there on it. It's good. I do have a discount code for this too if you want to check it out, and it'll be linked below for you guys. Briley has some sugar-free Hershey's syrup. And then back here in the very back, we keep this. It is a sentimental thing. This is our Vermont pure maple syrup that we got when we visited Vermont two years ago. And we paid a ton for this stuff. What was it? $12.50? Probably not that bad. But we had went to Bennington, Vermont, and this was what we picked up as a souvenir. So it stays in here. Okay, that is what my keto fridge looks like. Everything in here except for the Vermont syrup is keto friendly, guys. I have worked hard on this. This is what makes us sticking to keto so much easier. And I think this is why my family has had such an amazing success is I don't keep the bad stuff in the house anymore. And I did not just make my refrigerator look this good for you guys. This is what it basically stays like. I put these baskets in here probably close to a year ago. That video's out there, Dollar Tree organization video. Okay, this is our outdoor fridge. It's under our carport. So it's our overflow fridge, things we don't wanna keep in the house. So let's go ahead and get started. All keto, of course. Rebel ice cream. 
the store in my hometown now carries it. So where I live, all I gotta do is just drive down the road and get some. They had in the two new flavors. These are the only flavors they had and they had to go in the back and get them for us. This was the triple chocolate and the salted caramel. So I went ahead and stocked up. I got a lot of ice cream, you guys can see. <laughs> We have our Smart Buns right here. We like these when we make burgers. This ice cream is the Enlightened. It's lower carb, but not low carb like the Rebel or the Enlightened low carb. Um, this one is basically for Briley. She's the one that eats it since she's allowed more carbs than the rest of us. And then I have a thing of pecans that have been in here for a while. I need to use those up. Our meats, this is the meat we got at the farmer's market a while back when we won a $25 gift card. So we went ahead and stocked up on that. We got like two steaks, a sausage, and a grass-fed hamburger meat. And then we found these at a discount grocery store here in our area. These are the Applegate Organics. These are turkey burgers and grass-fed beef burgers, no antibiotics, you know, like I said, organic, just amazing for $2.99. So we went ahead and caught three of those to put out here for when we need them on quick nights. I do have one of the real good pizzas. I also got that at this discount grocery store and it was like $3.99 or something. So I like to have things like this on hand for quick nights when we need it. And then a thing of frozen broccoli. So the bottom part is basically our drink fridge. You can see lots of drinks going on. The top row is all smart cakes. When they had that huge sale, I went ahead and stocked up. We should be good on these for a long time. Um, I do have the discount code linked below if you're interested in ordering these. We absolutely love them. So I got one of each flavor, the raspberry, the cinnamon, the chocolate, the lemon, and the best flavor in my opinion, orange, and they're no longer gonna carry it. They just discontinued it. And I think it's the one that's got the least amount in it, guys. So like, oh yeah, just four left. But the lemon is Preston's favorite. The cinnamon is Kerrigan's and Chris likes them all. This is all we've got left from the bangs that we picked up when GNC had the sale when they were for $1. And gosh, we had a ton of these guys. But this is it. I'm not sure if I'm gonna repurchase these. I don't know, long story. <laughs> Down here, we have our sparkling ice drinks, our Power Aids, our waters, and I don't buy bottled waters that often. The girls just fill up their um, hydro flasks or Yetis and things like that. But these things we do buy a lot of. Preston takes one every day in his lunch. Um, Chris drinks one every day. I think even Briley drinks one every day. So we do have a lot of those. Down here in our drawers, this one is Chris's favorite sparkling ice flavor. This is the grape raspberry. We can't find it anywhere around here, so we order it online. And then right here is our drink drawer for people who come over that may want something other than sugar-free or keto-friendly. So we have some iced coffees in here, some Kool-Aid, some apple juice, aloe drinks, um, you know, ginger ale, things like that. So we do keep things like that on hand in case of emergency. And then over here in the door, we have our Zevias. We don't drink these that often, but when I see them at Kroger for $2.99, I'll go ahead and pick a case up, or not a case, a six pack, just so we'll have them on hand if we want them. And down here in the door, we have a few things. These are, again, another in case of emergency. They're just Diet 7-Up and um, Diet Ginger Ale. These are in case something happens, one of us gets sick. You know how it is when it's when you're sick, you want a ginger ale or a 7-Up or something like that. So I keep these out here. And then this we've not tried yet. This is a Zevia um, Organic Tea. This one is in the Blood Orange. Another thing that we'd picked up at Big Lots and haven't tried is a Rockstar Cucumber Lime. I just don't know how I feel about that combination. An electrolyte water. So this is like our overflow fridge, just mostly drinks that we don't want to keep in the house because it would just take up too much room. And of course, Smart Cakes. Refrigerator number three is a tiny one, and it is the one that we have out in the studio and the gym. It is just one of these little refrigerators over here in the corner, and basically we just keep drinks in it for when we're out here working or if um, they're working out. So in this one, just three bottles of water, some Power Aids, a couple of uh, perfect keto bars, one of 
our favorite snacks pretty much and then down here we have some more bang energy drinks so tons of flavors this one is new i only tried it once this was the lemon drop it was really good i miss these things um pina colada the mango but that's it we don't have very much in this one this is definitely just a few drinks and a few snacks for when we're out here working out So let me know what your number one item is that you always have stocked in your keto refrigerator because it may be something that I don't have that I need to check out and make a permanent staple in mine. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in my next video and I hope everyone has an amazing week. Bye.